Today I'm watching a football game in England and a soccer game in America. And I'm going to compare them in five categories to see if England is actually the best. Starting in Manchester, where United is playing Liverpool. The first thing we're gonna do is see how long it takes to get a shot on target. Whatever match gets it first wins a point. Oh no, that might be it. Oh, that might be it. That could be a pen. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's like one minute in and Liverpool has already had nearly one chance. And United nearly one chance. Oh, oh no. What? Oh. What? Oh, oh. oh. Eriksen has to do his shooting in the four post. That's all he had to do. Nothing else. Come on. Well, whilst Eriksen was getting ready here, something happened in America. Bro, this oh. Oh. oh! Yes! First shot on target! Shots are good. But what I care about is close. Let's see if they can actually score before the other game. England didn't get the shot, but United was getting closer and closer to getting a goal. Ten minutes in, no shot on target yet. Until United did this masterclass of a play. Oi. Good counter. First shot. First shot on target. From that moment, MLS players decided to do everything, and I mean everything, to not score a goal at least for the next 10 minutes. Oh, uh, I knew he had it in him. Oh. LA Galaxy is like a retirement home. They have Douglas Costa, Cáceres, Chicharito, Ricky Bush. I would like a goal. How long will it take Americans to score a goal? No, bro. They literally just consider it now taking pictures. I mean, not like it changes anything in the challenge. Here. Well done. <laughs> I come from Utah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, I have a cookie for you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. US scored their first goal at 25 minutes, whilst England did it in 16, meaning England gets this point. First I've ended with the same score on both sides. So it was time for our next category, halftime entertainment. In England, people normally queue for the toilet, get another drink, and try some horrible stadium food. In America, it's different. They have a lot of space to walk. There is no long queues for drinks, toilets, or shops. That's the game. That's the score. They sell a lot of food like churros. They also have burgers, tacos, and pizza. Pizza! And the best part is you can eat everything on your seat while you watch a light show. And with this, Football in America wins their second point. Come on. Look at this pizza, bro. For the next category, whichever game scores the most goals wins. England was closer, with Liverpool trying to get an early goal. The second half just started and Liverpool already had nearly one chance. And they will keep having more chances. Two chances in three minutes. Third possible chance for Liverpool in five minutes. They were really trying from all angles. Um, bad angles. Little by little, they're getting closer. But have faith of one more goal. I did get one more goal, just not from Liverpool. Couldn't believe it, neither could I. But as the players celebrated, something happened. They are checking the goal, by the way. We just don't know if it's gonna be a goal or not at the end. I don't even know if they... There they go. 52 minutes, United winning by two. But Liverpool
Bamboo Cat Train. Oh, yeah. Elliot even had this chance. Hello, Liverpool is so close to scoring one. But it was in America where we would have another goal, keeping the draw in this challenge. Oh, but it's a penalty. Oh, no. It's not looking good, bro. It is no. So whilst I celebrated the second goal here, United and Liverpool were trying to get a third goal. Bro, the game goes side to side. Liverpool attacks, then United gets a counter, and every count is dangerous. I don't know how the late game is going, but whatever match has the most goals takes one point. Liverpool really wanted a goal, but they were so bad, bro. Twenty-three minutes until the match ends. Liverpool needs a miracle. They need to score two in twenty-three, bro. Finally, Fabio Carvalito is in, and Milner is out. Next game, he's gonna play in MLS. Carvalho is gonna score. Easy, no problem, man. Yeah. Fabio missed it because he knew he was offside in it. Easy. Bro. But Carvalho wasn't enough to scare Rashford, who was going to have the game of his life. Time was running out, but Liverpool kept believing. Looks like a corner. Fabio to score now. I told you, my sweetie. That's three games on this side. How many has the MLS one got? Oh. Oh. Oh! oh. If, if he scored at both games, will have the same amount of goals. And that one won the best goal, which is our next category. With only a couple minutes left, both sides decided to bring some subs. Ronaldo! Cristiano is coming in! 85 minutes in, Cristiano is coming in. I want to see who the MLS subs are. Victor Vasquez is coming in. That's actually my surname. So it's the same as if I'm coming in, right? In England, Liverpool didn't have any more luck, so United beat them easy. In America, the last minutes were crazy. There are fouls, a lot of fouls. Even some fighting too. And some crazy chances. Oh! They were really close to scoring another goal. Oh, 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 oh. Sadly, they missed all of them every single time. Oh, oh, Meaning England had more goals and the best goal too, becoming the winner of the challenge. At least I got a Vasquez autograph in America. <laughs> love me doing this. You're gonna love me doing something else. Be here. You're watching.